quick to help. I'm quick to want to receive help. Amen. Because all it's going to do is make my race a whole lot better. Yeah. yeah. There's things that Brother Willie knows that I don't know. Yeah. There's yeah. things that Papa Washington knows yeah. that I surely don't know. Amen. Amen. Brother David knows that I do not know. Hallelujah. Apostle Stanford knows that I definitely do not know. Yes. yes. Brother Chris, there's things you know, sir. Right. Come on now. That I don't know. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Brother Sam Paul. There's things that Paul knows yes. that I do not know. Hallelujah. Amen. And we all know Pastor Dewar. Uh-huh. There are a lot of things that Pastor Dewar knows. Uh-huh. Jack, of, Jack of all trades. <laughs> don't let him finish that. <laughs> Jack of all trades. <laughs> that I do not know. Amen. Amen. The whole body here, there's things about us. Yes. Our gifts are very strong this way. Yes. Yes. The gift that you have is very important yeah. in this ministry. Come on now. Amen. That's why we need one another. Yeah, that's right. Hallelujah. The body's full of members. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Many members. Yet yeah, one body. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Lord. But in that chapter, in chapter 12, in Corinthians, talk about there should be no schism found in the body. Amen. We don't need one another to go against one another. That's right. We need your gifts. Yeah. Yeah. We have an anniversary yeah. coming up. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. And I see I see how Prophet Washington is trying to get everything in order as far as the part is concerned. Yeah. Yeah. But we all should be doing our part. Now see, Kamiko was up here yesterday trying to get everything in order uh-huh. yeah. for the youth and the nanny. Trying to put everything together. Yeah. Yeah. We're many members here, but you know we're only one body. Yeah. We have those that set up, that's been set up upon these certain positions in here in the house of Yahweh Amen. for order. Yeah. For structure. Yeah. Prophet Washington said, we lack structure. Yeah. 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 And yeah, you can get offended at that, but is it true though? Yeah. 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 Amen. So what are you going to do with that saying now? Yeah. Yeah. Are you getting mad at the man? No. Amen. You'd be a fool if we did that. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Get in line. Yeah, just lay down. Offenses come. Like yeah. what Pastor David was saying. Yeah. Offenses come all the time. Amen. Amen. They're unavoidable. Amen. But what do you do with the offense? Come on now. Hallelujah. Do you have your mind made up to say you love? Let me just humble myself. Yeah. What he said is true. Yeah. I'm the one that's, <laughs> that's making it not structured. Amen. Let me get myself right here. That's yeah. how you grow. Yeah, that's how you grow. Amen. Yes. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. Preach. That's right. Just like me and my wife were reading last night, the judges, they're talking about. They didn't have a king at the time. Right. Whenever a judge was presented before them, the guy everything got corrected. Yeah. Yeah. But as soon as that, that judge died off the scene, uh-huh. the children of Israel now they were just in chaos. Yeah. Yeah. They didn't know what to do. Right. Yeah. They were just living this they were becoming like the Gentiles. Yeah. Yeah. They were becoming like the other nations. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. In 1920 and 20 and 21, you know, you read about the decisions they made Hallelujah. and how the repercussions yeah. came afterwards. Yeah. yeah. Now they had to do things to try to solve, you know, the, the, the branch of, uh, what was that, Ephraim? The, the other branch, of oh, Benjamin. Benjamin. The, the branch of Benjamin was already been killed off. All, all the women been killed off. Amen. So now they had to come up with another solution to allow them to have women to marry so the branch could continue. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Same thing here. Like my wife said, we don't choose, the, we don't get to choose the repercussions. Amen. You may choose the sin that you want to do. Yeah. yeah. Right. But the penalty for that yeah. is going to come. Yeah. Now you have to do other things. Otherwise, you try to let that thing resolve itself. Because yeah. yeah. as long as you try to put your hand to it, it's going to mess it up every time. Yeah. 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 You have to allow the Spirit to that's rectify right. the situation. Yeah. So that's why yeah. many of us in here, we're suffering the consequences. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. But see, but the Spirit can just leave it like that. Say, so you've got to take it patiently. Yeah. 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 The things yeah. that's happening within my own body, i got to take yeah. it patiently. Yeah. Yeah. I'll never charge you out with foolishly. I did it to myself. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. But see, but now my heart, my heart's found in him. I want to be established in him. Yeah. Yeah. I tried it my way already. Yeah. I tried that already. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. I tried my way already. Yeah. Yeah. And I got no results from that. Yeah. No yeah. results. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing good came from that choice that I made. Yeah. I left Yahweh. Yeah. Yeah. Left me living a life without Yahweh. Hallelujah. That's where it left me at. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When Yahweh allowed me to make it back the second time, I said, I got to do this thing right. Yes, come on now. I said, I'm wasting my, my time in my life when I'm not doing things the right way. Hallelujah. Amen. 
And I was like, Yahweh, forgive me for the choices that I made down past. Yes, yes, Hallelujah. So I'm just a stupid man. Yeah. Amen. I'm just trying to do things according to how I used to do things. Amen. That's what I'm used to. Yes, sir. Amen. But I was left with my own righteousness. Yeah. Amen. Which is no righteousness at all. Hallelujah. Because the best thing that I could show, the best thing I could do was like filthy rags to my God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The best thing that I could do. Amen. Walking before you, the best thing that I could show. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Filthy rags. Amen. Yes, Yahweh. But it wasn't until I humbled myself. Amen. 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 That's what I'm always talking about. I want to be humble before my God. Yes. yes sir. Hallelujah. Because there's a spirit within me. I'm talking about according to the flesh, that is. Uh, yes, Lord. It wants to fight against this thing. Uh -huh. yes, I have to keep it down. I got to keep it humble. I got to continue to submit my flesh. Amen. Yes, because it wants to buck up every time this is opportunity. Oh, yeah. That's right. Every single time. Amen. I don't want to be told what to do. Amen. I want to be a bronco. Oh, yeah. Let me buck when I want to buck. Yeah. Yeah. Let me do the things I want to do. Amen. Don't tell me what to do. I want to do it this way. Uh -huh. I don't want to be told to do it that way. I want to do it this way. Yeah. Amen. That's what, that's, what, that's what you call self-righteous. Yeah, uh -huh. that's right. Yes, Lord. Amen. And we all have to fight that. Yes. Oh, yeah. right. I'm just speaking about my, yes. my behalf. Yes, uh -huh. I know what the Spirit is showing me it's the better thing. Uh -huh. But the flesh wants to do otherwise. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Amen. Take it to the house of Yahweh. He gave me structure. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. Amen. My mom gave me some structure. I got to keep saying that for now because it's kind of still new. And I know my mom's watching. Uh -huh. Mom, you gave me some structure. You did. <laughs> I said, I told you that before. Yeah. You remember our conversation? Yeah. Go on. Let's reason together. <laughs> <laughs> you gave me some structure, Mom. You did. But when it came to being a spiritual man, yeah. you couldn't offer that to me. Yeah. My grandparents couldn't offer that to me. Amen. Nobody in my family outside of my father could offer that to me. Amen. Amen. That's the truth. Hallelujah. Amen. And that's just the, the plain and simple facts, as my Aunt Brenda would say. Yeah. That's just plump facts. That's facts. Amen. That's the plain truth. Amen. And everything she said was right on the morning because she knows when she humbled herself, this place was the best place for her. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Yeah. Read it, son. The light of the body is the eye. The light of the body is the eye. If therefore thine eye be single, the whole body shall be full of light. Yes. But if thine eye be evil, thy if whole the body eye, shall be full of darkness. But if thy eye be evil. Amen. She says we're given a new way of looking at this world. Yeah. And see, when the Spirit says to walk in newness of life, which we all should be doing, because we've been baptized in Yeshua Messiah, uh -huh. we've all been buried with him through baptism. So all of us should be walking today in newness of life. Amen. Amen. Otherwise, the life that you once lived before, that old man that you was before, should be dead and buried. Yes. Amen. Along Amen. with his deeds. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Otherwise, Amen. the ways that you used to do things before, those deeds should be dead. Yes. A dead man is not going to fight you. Oh, no. A dead man is not going to resist you. Amen. Matter of fact, a dead man is just going to lay there limp. Dead weight. He's not going to carry his own weight. He's dead weight. Uh -huh. So whatever you want to do to him, you can put makeup on him, yeah. put him in a dress, uh -huh. try to make him transgender if you want to. <laughs> He's not going to fight you. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Yeah. Because they're dead. Yeah. But you realize we're supposed to be dead, say? Yeah. We're all supposed to be dead. Yeah. Dead to the world. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. But alive into righteousness. Yeah. We're dead to the world, though. Yeah. Your old man is dead. Hallelujah. Shouldn't have a, a, a quick response. Yeah. When the Spirit's trying to direct your path, yeah. you shouldn't be hasty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. You should be quick to react yeah. whenever someone's trying to instruct you to do something. Yes, Lord. That's the problem of the youth. They want to be quick to react. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. My sons want to be quick to react yeah. because of feelings. Amen. How do you we have to put that back into check? Yeah. Amen. Amen. The one that had it bad was Ezra. He was really quick to react. And so, I mean, oftentimes it's not, it's not really like enforced that way, but he just has that type of mind he wants to react. Yeah. That's the mind I deal with. Yeah, he's very opinionated. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Nobody left you in charge. What you got? We're still here. What are you, what are you doing? And even if we leave, we're like, well, you know, besides in charge, you know, 
Mount, I'm reminding you what we said in order already. But here it is. Well, I won't do that way. I know you don't want to do that way. But things already been set in order. The Spirit's already set things in order for us in our lives. We don't want to do it that way. We want to kick up a fuss and, you know, you want to throw a temper tantrum. And you want to have it your way. And this is not Burger King. You can't have it your way. Yeah, this is the Father Two Church of Yeshua Messiah. This place has brought life to us. Hallelujah. You were the living before you were dead. You're alive today. Through something. You're not alive on your own. You're alive through Yeshua Messiah. He's the one that gave you life. Amen. If you have Yeshua Messiah, you have life. But to him that doesn't have Yeshua Messiah, he doesn't have no life. That's what it says in 1 John. I think you all have life today. Amen. It's through Yahshua Messiah. The life I'm living today, like I read just said, is not according to myself, Amen. but it's through the faith of the Son of God. Amen. That's the reason why I'm living today. That's why I can be on the job and be happy. Yeah. When everything else around me is in chaos, and everything's not going according to the way I want it to go. Amen. And, the, and the boss told me something that I got offended with inside, but I didn't have to react upon it. Yeah, I didn't walk out, storm out. I ain't like what he said. <laughs> I'm done. I'm gone. Put a fork in. I'm done. I'm not, we'll see you tomorrow. Amen. I don't behave myself that way no more. Amen. Time passes. No call. No, no call. No, I wouldn't even show up. I wouldn't even call you. Let you know I quit. I was, done, I was done with the job. You just know that I didn't call in. I didn't show up. Guess what? Here it is, week two, and I'm still not there. By, the, by that time, you know that I've done quit. Do I expect me to come in the next day because I'm not going to show up? That's the time passed. Today, I don't behave myself that way. That's the old man. I learned how to be responsible on the job. You know, they used to call me. It's funny because when you do this thing right, they'll call you to do something that you you know that they called you for that reason. Yes. They would say, uh, Ernest, we need you to go take care of this account because the the, the, bo the boss there, he's, not, he's unhappy with the situation. Right. We need to see if you can go there and rectify the situation. And I'd show up. I mean, all, all I'm doing is just delivering you know, freight. <laughs> I'm just shuttling trailers back and forth. That's all I'm doing. Nothing, nothing complex, nothing yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. I'm not solving the world's problems and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, on, I'm not on the next mission to NASA. I'm not, that's not me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I wasn't there, okay? Think about somebody else. That wasn't me. Yeah. I'm just driving a truck. As long as I'm doing something simplistic, just driving. But I get there and I do exactly what they want. Yeah. yeah. And that makes all the difference. Yeah. If you become dependable, yeah. How do you, yeah. In business, if you're just dependable yeah. and you're reliable, yeah. Uh -huh. Come on now. How do you? Yeah. will shape you in a way. Yes, Lord. See, Yahweh has His way. Uh -huh. We have our own way. Hallelujah. Yeah. But since I'm into the house of Yahweh, I'm learning to learn of yeah. the ways of the Messiah. Yeah. Yeah. Training my ways for the Messiah's way. Yeah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's brought me far doing that. Yeah. Me and Optown, me and Papa Washington, we talk a lot. Uh -huh. He's talking about his job. We're talking about my job. Amen. We talk about the things we go through. Hallelujah. We encourage Hallelujah. one another. Amen. 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 You know, when Reggie Day was talking about, you know, talking about the, you know, the shy ones, the kids. And I was talking to a puzzle, a puzzle Stanford. And I went to work one day. I even told my wife, I went to work one day. And I pulled into the driveway, you know, parked my car, and got out. And I saw a car drive past me, so I turned around to go get my bag at the back. And I turned back around, and the car was right there in front of my car. There was a lady in the car. A lady was in the car. <laughs> Now, when I say this doesn't happen to me, it doesn't. I'm not trying to embellish the fact that it doesn't happen. I don't consider myself to be ugly. But these things do happen. One was stopped in front of the car. She stopped and she said, I just had to say something about your beard. I just had to. And she was an older lady. So it doesn't matter who you are, it doesn't matter what you look like. You're, you're, there's tax for everybody. Whether you're older or you're younger, there's tax for everybody. Yeah. Somebody's gonna like you. Somebody. I don't care if you're super skinny or you're super thick. Somebody's gonna like you. 
and she pulled right directly in front of my car, like like T-Bone style, just she parked this way, she parked like that. You ain't going nowhere. Uh, yeah, I'm going somewhere. I'm going back to go to get to work. That's where I'm going. I just had to say something about your kid. Older, older black lady. She stopped. Is that? Are Are you Hispanic? Are you? You gotta be. You gotta be. Say something Spanish. You gotta be Hispanic. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm not wiping all the years. I know these things are gonna happen. Your lady is for adultery, but we're not supposed to be dealing with that. Yeah. Yeah, I, I love my wife. Yeah. I couldn't have anybody better in my life. I know that. She was hand chosen for me. How yeah. That's the way I see it. Uh -huh. Many years ago, a uh, mother, uh, mother Karen chose me. Many years ago. Many years ago. So he's my son in law. Many years ago. Yes. <laughs> I never forget. <laughs> How can you? Yeah. I was chosen yeah. Amen. for this call. Yeah. <laughs> I was chosen for this call. Yeah. So you yeah, asked so the lady, said, you want to say something about my beers? Oh, thank you, man. I appreciate that. So I'm just, she's like, do you work here? I said, yes, man. I work here. I said, I'm about to get ready to go clock in. Yeah. She wants to okay. take care of you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she wanted to. But I'm already being taken care of already. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Yeah. I know right best. I know, man, I'm not Hispanic. I'm, matter of fact, I'm half black, half white. So, really? Yes, I know what I am. You know, I know that. These are things I deal with, on, you know, in my life. So, they are married, and everything. You know, so, 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 do you? Are you working here? I didn't know she worked inside the office. Yeah. I never seen her before. She just pulled up. Yeah. She's like, well, she's like clean windows. So, okay. So I'm, I'm just trying to get some more clients. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. So, well, I'm going to get ready to go to work. So, are you, you, you work here, right? See, I'm, I'm a truck driver. Oh, you're a truck driver? Everything seems like everything I was saying was kind of, yeah, it's just fascinating with everything I was saying. is like, you're a truck driver? You don't say it. Get out of here. Yeah, no, I am a truck driver. No, seriously. I mean, I wasn't like, ready to go with nothing. This is something, I mean, my work, work apparel, as you see me all the time, getting ready to go to work. So it don't matter what you look like. Uh, Satan's not trying to attack you. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. My heart is fixed, though. So. Uh -huh. so no matter what Satan is throwing in my direction, yeah. I don't have to deflect. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Brother was always talking about having the whole armor of God on. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Well, that day I had the whole armor on. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I was prepared for the darks to come my way. Come on, yeah. Yeah. I wasn't in disguise like the king was. Uh -huh. yeah. It wasn't, a, it wasn't a young man out there who just peradventure drew a bow and just shot in the air. Yeah. I wasn't hit. I wasn't hit in the opening of my armor. Yeah. I was prepared for battle. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know I have a beautiful wife. Yeah. Amen. I have four sons. Yeah. I'm trying to run this race. Yeah. I want to be saved. Hallelujah. 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 You gotta be prepared. Come on now. Stand yeah. for holiness. Stand for what's yeah. right. That's right. Read it, son. If therefore the light that is in you, in you be darkness, yes. how great is that darkness? How great is it? See, don't, don't allow Satan to come to take away this power that we have in Yeshua Messiah. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. Yeshua is saving us day by day. Amen. Keeping us. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't you realize you're under the care of Yahweh through Yeshua Messiah? Uh -huh. Amen. He's already, he's already adopted you. Uh -huh. Why would you turn back to your other father that you used to have? Who wasn't really your father at all? Oh, uh, your stepdad is what he was. <laughs> I've had one of those in my life. Yeah. A stepdad who did not care about me. Amen. Yeah, he's going he's to do you in in the end. I've had a stepfather because he was a bad stepfather. That's what I'm talking about. He was a bad stepfather. There's some stepfathers out there that are good. Yeah. That's willing to take you in and treat you just like their own biological son. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But I had a bad one. And I hated him the whole seven years that my mom was married to him. Amen. At the end of it all, he ended up getting uh, colon cancer. But before he died, he talked to me. He said, Ernest, I want to just apologize to you because, you know, I realized the way I treated you the whole seven years was not right for me to do that. And he only got bad when he got drunk. Yeah. Uh -huh. So he has like a common, you know, a, 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 a common thing in my life that I'm surrounded by people that are drunk all the time. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Told him my father was born into this, born into that family. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
So he came to me and I said, well, I said, I appreciate your words. I said, you know, I, 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 I received your words. I said, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm saying that, you know, I'm sad that you had received your diagnosis. I mean, that's all I could give him because I wasn't in the church at the time. Yeah. But, you know, I, there was still a part of me that hated the man. Yeah. Yeah. But my heart was kind of given in because, you know, his situation. Right. Yeah. But it wasn't too far after that he passed away. Man. But, you know, I got things right with him at that time. Same way with my father, you got things right, you got to reconcile together. Yeah. So we should live a life where we, have to, we don't have to reconcile with one another all the time. Yeah. Yeah. We should love Hallelujah. one another. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My life is always showing me things that I need to work on. Yeah. The Spirit right now, you know, when I'm, when I'm meditating, it's showing me my life. Showing me where I've come from and where I'm trying to get to. Amen. I've been, there's, there's been a transition in my life. Started off as a son. Now I'm a husband. Now, now I'm a father. I'm a bishop now. So things have to transpire in your life to show you your real self. Yeah, that's right. But see, Satan is trying to come and try to dilute what the Spirit is showing you, trying to blind you to the mere fact that you are this way. Yeah. The Spirit is trying to help you through the, most, through, through the fullness of preaching, trying to show you what the things you neglect to look at. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Thank Yahweh for this place. Yeah. The words is reaching me here in this place here. Show me what the earth I need to grow in. Yeah. Came from places that did not show me my true yeah. sins. Yeah. Come from places that gave a dull ear to trying to save my life. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Amen. All they wanted was my pocketbook. Uh -huh. yes. But I thank Yahweh today that I'm found in the house of Yahweh. Yeah. Yeah. A place where I get offended, but I also receive the spirit. Yeah. Yeah. Reject my flesh. Yeah. And go forward with the spirit, with the, what the spirit has shown me to do. Yeah. Whenever Apostle Washington, whenever he shows his face towards me, it's not in anger. Amen. The words he shares with me, yeah. it's peaceful. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And he can be rebuking you at the same time, yeah. but I receive it as words of comfort. Yeah. I had to learn Apostle Washington. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm still learning to this day. But the way he comes at each and every single one of us yeah. is different. Yeah. Yeah. He knows how to reach all of us. Yeah. Yeah. And the reason why he's able to do that is because he learned of the Messiah's yeah. ways. Yeah. Yeah. And get, and get this, he's still learning of the Messiah's yeah. way. Hallelujah. Yeah. He would tell you himself, I'm still learning of the Messiah's way. Yeah. And we all have to learn of the Messiah's way. Hallelujah. We're learning it through Apostle Washington. Yeah. Yeah. That's why you need an apostle in your life. Yeah. Yeah. To open these mysteries up before you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm not looking for the you know the, the knowledge that you know talk about mysteries and the revelations and all. I'm not looking for that. Yeah. What I have is sufficing me now. Yeah. Yeah. Let me yeah. let me just put the work. The principles of the doctrine yeah. get past those things yeah. and continue to work on the the betterment of my household, uh -huh. yeah. the way I, the way I treat one another, yeah. my love, perfect my love, yeah. get rid of the fear that's in my life, yeah. and move towards perfection. Yeah. Hallelujah! Yeah. Stop laying down the foundation of repentance over and over. The dead works yeah. over and over and over again. Yeah. Yeah. You're running in place. You're not going nowhere. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, I think Yahweh, my father in time past, I when I looked at my father, I said, he's very tough. Like, he seemed like he was all edges. He wasn't smooth. He was all edges. <laughs> I mean, he was a calm man. Don't get me wrong. But it's just like I looked at him, looked at the, the exterior. I'm just like, he's a rough man. Didn't help that he's from the country. But, I mean, he's just rough. And they could have used a little TLC with some sandpaper or something. <laughs> Even out those rough spots. But he did it all in love though. Hallelujah. But when I look back and how he had he had he had his children and his children were very stubborn. But see, this is what love would do. He still told us the truth. Regardless of how our faces change and all that and all this hoopla and all this chaos and I don't want what you're saying, Dad, and you're too hard, blah blah blah. But when you get through all that he was looking at the heart. Because I know my kid's heart. I know they will receive it if it's true. So when you look at us today, you look at my brothers. You look at my sisters. And we all respect the man. Hallelujah. For the things that he done. The things that he sacrificed for Yahweh. The things he did for us. Hallelujah. The way that he, he treated us is the same way that Yahweh is doing for us. It all comes back around to the church. It always does. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So you look at my brothers and my, see my father each time out with, with myself and with, with Bobby and with Robert. 
and with Michelle and with Patricia. Hallelujah. He took the time out to show us the ways of Yahweh. The best way that he knew how. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. He didn't just leave it for the church to teach us, but he taught us within himself to us. Yeah. He taught us the ways of Yahweh. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And when he died and fell off the scene, we all came out different people. But we're all found in Yeshua. Amen. Yes, Hallelujah. Amen. We all took pinpoints of my father's life yes. and we applied it to our life. We take different ways, even in our own lives. Amen. There's certain things that happen in your life, you pinpoint things out and you apply it to your life. That, that's what causes a change in your life. Amen. The Spirit's offering things all the time. He's a, imagine a table up here. Life and death is being presented to us all the time. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But it's our choice to come up here and take what you want. Hallelujah. Or you don't take anything. Amen. Therefore, you want to have death. Amen. I don't want to eat what you're offering. Amen. But all is welcome up to my Father's table. Yes, but you make the choice whether you want it or not. Amen. 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 So I had to make the choice in my own life. Regardless of what my brothers are doing and my sisters are doing, yes. I had to make it up in my own mind that I'm going to receive Amen. what my Father's saying to me. Yes, Amen. Lord. Yes, Lord. Bobby did the same thing. I'm going to receive what Dad is saying to me. Amen. Uh, Amen. Minister Children, or Adventist Children, I'm going to receive what Dad's offering to me. Yes. Right. My sister Michelle, yes. Mary, I call her. I'm going to receive what Dad is offering to me. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, Patricia and Corey is another story. Yes. They have to answer for themselves. We're supposed to stand up to do what's right in the sight of God. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 God is offering all things for us. Things yeah. that pertain to life and godliness. Uh -huh. But are you receiving it for yourself? Yes. Hallelujah. I can't run this race for you. Amen. Yeah. Pastor always tells us, I can't run the race for you. Yeah. All I can do is offer the words that Yeshua gave to him. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I meditate on these things. Amen. So Yahweh, I want life. Uh -huh. Some people actually want him to fight it for them yes. by telling them what to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I told Apostle Washington a long time ago. I said, Apostle, do not change. Don't change. Amen. Regardless of how it may have rubbed me the wrong way. <laughs> Especially when I was trying to, you know, trying to win Sister Rachel. The words that he shared with me, he said, Son, <laughs> if you want to marry my daughter, it's causing this to happen to your body. He said, it's best that you don't even take that route. <laughs> because it's killing you. Yeah, right. yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. But on the spiritual aspect of it all, yeah. the same thing here. Yeah. If you see what the Spirit is saying for you not to do, yeah. and you're, you're, so, you're trying to strive for it so hard. Yeah. i got to have that. You don't understand. It's a part of my life. Yeah. And the Spirit is saying, nay, don't do that. I wouldn't do that if I was you. Yeah. Yeah. And you see the results. Or you see what's happening to you. Hallelujah. That's right. The same words the story reiterated to you. I would not I would not continue to go that way. I would not continue to go down that route because it's killing you. Yes. Because yes. at that point in time my mind was carnal. Yeah. Everything I looked at was carnally minded. Everything was. That's why it was death to me. I didn't understand it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I definitely hate, I hated the, I hated the man because of jealousy. But see, before all that happened, we were like this. We were inseparable. Hallelujah. But see, but the Spirit is kind. It's receiving. It's giving. See, a lot of things I always apply it to the natural. I apply the natural to the spiritual. Amen. Because it's giving me a full aspect of what I need to look at. See, see if what it really looks like. Yeah. And it's given me an, an outlook that I never had before. Amen. Yeah. You know, when all things I'll be done. Uh, me and Brother Will were talking, and he was saying that he had a dream. Now, do you remember the dream we told him? Yeah, the dream was uh, that uh, I could hear Apostle Washington talk to me, and, uh, but I couldn't remember what he said when I woke up. <laughs> but it was almost like he was, he was, he was. Uh, Opening up the word to me. Yes. And I was craving it in the dream, and, and I was listening. But then when I woke up, I couldn't remember nothing. Yeah, exactly. I had this, I was telling him said I had the same like a similar dream. And when I was sitting down with Apostle Washington, we were looking eye to eye, and he was like, he was saying something. He was saying something. He was proud of me and all that. But he was saying there's something I want to reveal to you. And when he went to say it, it was just like he was just saying it without a voice, saying like it was his mouth services. <coughs> In the dream, I was like, what is it? 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 What is it